Welcome to Engineering Update. I'm Melissa Barnes, Associate Editor of ECN. In this week's headlines, the GoPro carrying pocket drone, see-through smart glasses, and the Myris personal iris scanner. A new identity authentication device called the Myris scans the user's iris to improve online security, omitting the need for passwords. The Myris connects to a computer via USB and uses video to scan over 240 points on each iris and generate a unique 2048-bit digital signature for the user. The user then holds the device up and looks into the mirrored lens in order to gain access to their online accounts. Myris is expected to become available to consumers this year and will be compatible with Windows 7 and 8, Mac OS, and Chrome OS. The newest in smart glasses is called the See-Through from French company Laster Technologies. What makes these smart glasses different is their focus on privacy. See-Through uses the processing power of a smartphone and connects through Bluetooth while images and information are relayed to the lens. The glasses can be used to take calls, listen to music, and display emails, text messages, and other data. The company is currently working on apps for the see-through, including satellite navigation and other hands-free apps such as a sailing instrumentation app and flight apps for pilots and paragliders. Laster claims that the see-through offers the best image quality on the market and a vision field that is two to three times larger than that of Google Glass. The Pocket Drone is a miniature foldable tricopter designed to carry a GoPro camera. When all of its components are folded down, the aircraft has a smaller footprint than that of a 7-inch tablet and is less than 3 inches thick. The lithium polymer battery is efficient for 20 minutes worth of consistent flight time when a GoPro is attached. The Pocket Drone is equipped with real-time remote control through a controller or mobile app. The drone is even capable of flying on its own through the use of plotted GPS waypoints or GPS-enabled mobile device. The Pocket Drone is also user-friendly, as its flight control software remains open source. That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, or email me your story ideas. I'm Melissa Barnes, and this has been your Engineering Update.